One of my previous videos, I talked about offline mapping and uh, using Strava and Gaia GPS to do some offline mapping. And in the comments of that video, a lot of people brought to my attention trail forks. And uh, I had checked out trail forks in the past, but it didn't really catch my eye. Maybe it was missing something that I was looking for. But when I was in Whistler for Outer Bike last weekend, I used trail forks to navigate myself through the uh, comfortably numb trail. And it was awesome. It was a total lifesaver. It got me through the entire trail, just kept checking my phone where there's little splits here and there. Just ride a little bit down, the, down one of the splits, check the map, okay, I'm good to go, keep going. So in this video, I just wanted to uh, add a few trails that are, that are missing from Trail Forks and just kind of show you guys how easy it is and uh, what you can do to contribute because the offline mapping doesn't really work unless we contribute and add trails to the platform. So I'm gonna add some trails to the Crockett Hills, Crockett Hills Regional Park. You can see at the, on this map right here, we only have two trails that are logged in Trail Forks. Well, a couple more than two, but uh, there's much more than this. There's, there's some trails out here. And actually, if you switch to the open street map view, you can see that those trails are on open street map, which I probably added those at some time. Uh, so let's try to get these things into Trail Forks. So I'm already logged in to Trail Forks. So I'm gonna do add and add a trail. And I'm gonna see if I can import and crop from Strava and uh, see, see how easy this is. So here's all my uh, activities. So my Crockett Hills Trail Guide video shoot is probably a good activity to try to overlay on top of this. Yep, sweet. So this is a good number of trails. So first thing it wants me to do is to crop the activity to just the trail that we're gonna input. So I think I'll, I'll do this one over here first that kind of comes up and sweeps up this way. Or actually, I probably start it here and then sweep it up around on this side right here. So let's, uh, let's click crop. Okay, so yellow means good. Red means it's being cropped off. I can fine tune this later, so that looks good to me. And we'll go to the junction here. So that is pretty good for this one piece of this trail. And now I need to actually go to OpenStreetMap and see what this is called. So if I zoom in here, this is the Edwards Creek Trail. Oh, and then it's also the Wood Rat Trail. <laughs> The trail of many names. All right, we'll just, uh, this is the dilemma now because we've got different uh, trail names. So I'm gonna do it properly and just add in wood rat first. Let's go back to the crop. We'll just crop this up to the start here. We'll call it wood rat trail. an easy green um, cross country that works just fine no features on this single track it's uh, both directions climb is probably a green yeah, it's kind of a blue actually okay the difficulty of the climb is probably a green but the physicality of the climb is probably moderate uh, multi-use for sure E-bike allowed, eh, who knows? Okay, I'm gonna leave all this other stuff alone and see if we can get this to submit and see what happens. Okay, so it's submitted by me, but it's unconfirmed at the moment. So I'm guessing someone's gonna have to uh, maybe go in and approve it. So now that I've shown you how to add a new trail, I wanna show you how to edit a trail that is already existing in the database. So when I rode Comfortably Numb last weekend, I saw people talking that there's this whole new section in this area over here. And uh, when I rode it, 
previously, supposedly, you had to ride the road for this section right here, but now there's all kinds of uh, new trail. So I wanna edit Comfortably Numb to actually include that stuff. So I'm gonna go to Edit Trail. So I've been playing with this a little bit and I'm gonna show you the way I got it to work. I was kind of fumbling around a little bit, but I think I've got it down to what it needs to be. So first you wanna click Edit Track and that will get you into the mode of actually being able to edit the points on the trail. And I'm gonna, my computer's lagging out on this because it's so uh, complicated and it's only gonna get worse once I import my GPX file. So we're gonna zoom in, Jesus. So we're zoomed in kind of sorta to the area that we wanna be in. So then I went to my Strava and I downloaded the GPX file from this ride. So you can see on my Strava here, we've got this area right here that is all brand new that avoids the road. So I downloaded it and now we're gonna upload it. And you see we're still editing comfortably numb. So the black squares are all highlighted right now. And now eventually, boom. So the, the, the purple line has been added. And you can see we're still editing comfortably numb. So when I was messing around with this before, when I added my track, it just kind of overwrote everything and it didn't have the old uh, trail up and running. So now we've got the old trail up and running and now I can start placing the points along this new trail and uh, get it rerouted and get it looking good. So to do that, I'll start clicking on the white boxes and that deletes points so we can kind of start fresh. We'll go all the way to where about it, yeah, okay, that's about good, where it, it uh, lines up to the road, it's not perfect. So then you start grabbing the, the light uh, boxes, the, the boxes that are kind of opaque, and you just start dragging and putting, putting them on. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because it gets very complicated if you try to make it too perfect, just so someone on the trail would be able to follow along. And with the beauty of this is a community, if someone sees that the, uh, the map is kind of funky, they can go in and edit and uh, make it a little more perfect if they noticed spots where they're, uh, they're getting messed up on the trail. All right, that is looking pretty good. We zooming in, zooming out. So that looks pretty darn good to me. So I'm going to save this. Scroll down to the bottom and I'm gonna put a note at the bottom as well. Adding new section that avoids the road. And I'm gonna submit and this is gonna go into uh, the moderation queue as well. So we'll see. If, uh, if it gets approved. So there you go, uh, Trail Forks is awesome. Get on here, you can import your Strava data right into Trail Forks. I've really enjoyed playing with this thing and contributing. I'm a huge mapping geek myself, so I, I just love maps and this is completely enthralling me now for uh, the whole mountain bike purpose. So thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you out on the trail.